Hello everyone, this is CJ Novo 992 and today we are back for another brand new video. The second video in the space of what, five, six hours? Apologies people for making you have to sit through another video of this guy right here, but I couldn't go ahead and give you the day off after the post midnight upload of the game recap. Na 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 na, we have a new player to react to, a new player to discuss and a new player to dive into details to find out what we have brought in to the football club. A new signing by the way that was announced 40 minutes before the game. Come on Mr Rangers, help a cringy YouTuber out. Play the game son, play the game. Speaking of the game, however, even though I did just say this to you six or seven hours ago, but if you do enjoy the channel, hell, you might be new here looking in at Bakuna. If you don't mind helping us on our way, we are trying to reach 56k, so any help would genuinely be amazing. And the word amazing here actually gives me the perfect transition back in to the actual video because we needed this signing, ladies and gentlemen, and it's amazing that Mr. Bakuna is now at the football club, and it's funny, right, because we've signed Bakuna on a long-term deal now, obviously, from Huddersfield down in the Championship for a lot of Moolah, people. Moolah has been spent, despite the fact we continually get told from Moonhowlers, crazy deranged Moonhowlers, that there is no money, we can't afford this guy, we can't afford this guy, yet we've signed that guy, we've signed that guy, and we went ahead and signed that guy. It's almost like, ladies and gentlemen, I know this is going to sound crazy, but it's almost like these mad moon howlers don't know what they're actually talking about. I know, what a crazy idea that is. But I, of course, we're not here just to laugh at the range moon howlers for getting things wrong every day of their freaking lives. We are also here to welcome our boy Bakuna and wish him the very best at our football club, but also dive in to the old player profile. Check the old footballing TV and discuss the competition for places, which is very interesting. I know I say that quite often, but it is interesting when you look at Bakuna and his career. So without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, our newest signing is Mr. Bakuna. Let's go ahead and discuss why. Bakuna is a 24-year-old centre midfielder who stands at 5 foot 10 and he's as technical as technical comes, ladies and gentlemen. He's very comfortable on either side. He's very comfortable with the ball at his feet to beat a man. He can drift beyond people. He can thread the needle in the final third. He's certainly an advanced type of player who likes to get on the ball and try to make things happen. But what's brilliant about this lad as well is not only as it all go all of the time trying to make things happen. He's actually very, very quick in and out of possession, which will be music to all of our ears right here on the channel. And it'll be me it'll be music, sorry, to the ears of the gaffer as well, who just a day ago, me and you sat here on the channel. We talked about the press conference where we heard him say he wanted energy, he wanted legs, and he wanted that midfielder. That's the exact thing he was bringing into the football club. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have the engine, we have the legs, and we have... Bakuna, very technical player, very reminiscent of like a Glenn Kamara. Do you know how Kamara can pick the ball up in very tight areas and spin someone, then carry it 10, 15 yards, then try to make things happen? That is Bakuna at his absolute best. Beating people for fun, getting forward, then delivering the ball to someone who's in a more advanced position. Or on the rare occasion that he was allowed anywhere near the books for Huddersfield, he would also try and put the ball in the back in the himself, but he's not just an attacking midfielder with the likes of maybe a Joe Rebo or even a Lundstrom who we've seen is more comfortable going forward with the football right now than it is always going back. Yes, they can do a job there and everything like that, but what I like about Bakuna is he's got that energy, he can get up and doing the park and I honestly feel just that pace was badly needed in an injection into your midfield, not only from what we've seen so far this season, but even going in to last season, like in the Europa League, everything like that, sometimes you look to our midfield and you're like, we really need just a bit of something. Well, ladies and gentlemen, when this man is at his best, he ticks every single box and he can really be so. Now, he kind of gets this sort of tag where he's been inconsistent. You maybe have seen that from like Huddersfield fans where they'll say every couple of games he has a world and he's unplayable and then he disappears for a couple. But to me, that's that's a bit harsh to put that just on him. I think a lot of that's got to give in the team that he was playing for and how bad the situation was around him because it wasn't as if he was playing in a team that was dominating games of football like we'll be dominating games of football. Na, 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 na. So I think that cri criticism of being inconsistent is very, unfair because everything around them it was inconsistent so I'm not going to blame him just for all that. I think he comes alive in a team that's dominant with the football and it's given him loads of touches and opportunities to create and try different things. No, get one or two touches where he has to do this and this and this and try and beat everything himself. No, he's got a lot of players around him now and I think 
people that spoke very highly of Bakuno over the years, etc., etc., has been waiting for this move at Rangers because we've seen how we progress midfielders, like for the likes, say, Glenn Kamara, example, Joe Rebo, how he's taken strides and how he's becoming a better player. I think everyone who was looking at Bakuna being a fantastic and really strong player has been waiting for this move because he's gotten that opportunity to grow and play more to his strengths, and that's the ball at his feet, an opportunity to make things happen. But right, enough singing this man's praises then, shall we? That's enough for the old player profile. Let's transition into some numbers and stats because I've said here a million times on the channel, it's a stats generation. Every single person, whether it's a rumour, a BS link, or even a latest sign-in at the football club, whenever a name is linked to Rangers, the first thing people want to know is the old numbers and stats. And I think we'll look at Bakunas first by looking back at his most recent season of football, his most recent season of full football and that was of course last season for Huddersfield down in the championship where he went ahead and played 44 games he got five goals to his name by the way and chipped in with a very very impressive four assists which again may not jump out of you right away but ladies and gentlemen boys and girls I have to stress to you right now Huddersfield were hot garbage last year like honestly they were stinking and they've sort of been on this downward decline over the last couple of seasons because this is a far cry Huddersfield side than the one that Bakuna first joined when he was in the Premier League he went there he played 21 games in the top flight scoring one goal as well by the way but as Huddersfield has kind of went through the motions and lost piece after piece after piece they've progressively got worse so the fact that this man can sit here and come away with nine goal contributions in a mid role that he's been given in Huddersfield is absolutely brilliant in my opinion and if the reports and the stories that are true that are currently going around that Rangers have been interested in Bakuna not only over the last couple of weeks slash months but going in to last season because of the way he was able to perform and play in a team that was struggling after looking into the lad day and seeing it it genuinely when it surprised me if it was true. But let's dive a wee bit deeper than just last season then, shall we? And I think we'll focus on an English football first because in terms of appearances for a club, that's where he's spent the majority of his time. That's where he's played the most club appearances because he's played 107 times for Huddersfield, chipping in with 12 goals and grabbing 9 assists, which again, isn't that bad at all considering the role and the style of play in the team that he was actually playing for. But moving away from his time in England, if you go back just a little bit, if you go back to Dutch football, that is where this man was really starting to get a lot of rave reviews, a lot of praise, a lot of plaudits because of the way he was able to play in the top flight at Dutch football at such a young age. And a team that's got a drastically different style than what Huddersfield's been able to play because he was much more freer, he was much more dominant in the football. And I honestly think that's where you saw the best of Bakuna because he was able to pull the strings, he was able to go after it because he had that freedom to go ahead and do that, which again, he didn't really have at Huddersfield. Not saying that he was bad or anything for them, but for me, what I look forward to, and I, I think we're going to see in a Rangers shirt, I think we're going to see a return to what he was able to do in Holland, and that is just be an orchestrator and get things going. But aye, as I am OCD, let's finish up the Dutch stats then, shall we? He played 94 times in total in the top flight of Dutch football, scoring four goals and grabbing 11 assists, which you can see quite a jump up in there, and that's because of the freedom that he was able to play in that team, as we just mentioned, about 30 seconds before. But aye, let's take a step back from even that, like, all those stats, everything we broke down. That means at the age of 24 years old, this man's entire football and CV reads 200 matches played at the professional level. I'm not taking into consideration any reserve league or reserve cups or anything like that. Just top flight football and professional cup competitions, etc. So he's played 200 of those in total, where the guys went ahead and bagged 18 goals, grabbed 19 assists and... Picked up a very cheeky 32 times, which I didn't mind seeing, by the way, because it kind of shows you he's got that grit and he's able to go to the ground when he feels like he needs to go to the ground. Because, again, despite recent and everything like that in our heads, we've needed a player that can pick up a book and when he sees a counter-attack to just come in and nail that. Go back to the domestic games last year. Go back to the Cups, the games that we actually lost. We've needed a player like that that can identify when a dangerous attack is coming, pick up the yellow card, and we move on from there. So, not too displeased with the old 32 yellow cards out of 200 games, if I'm honest with you. But something else I'm very pleased that he's only ever been double yellow carded in the same game and been sent off that way once in his career. However, he has received three straight red cards, which I imagine might change when he comes up the road 
and plays in Scotland. <laughs> but right, as my head is absolutely pickled with all those numbers and stats, let's move away from them, shall we, and get to the old competition for places, which will be very short and sweet in today's video, because not only does me and thee know we needed this signing, this is the exact type of player we needed to bring in to the football team, but also we know for a fact that that's exactly what Steven Gerrard was wanting, because he told us just two days ago, and I think he'll join a midfield with the likes of Ryan Jack, Steven Davis, Glenn Kamara, Joe Rebo, Lundstrom, Scotty Arfield. I know there's loads and loads of bodies in there, but for me, what he brings to the team is something not a lot of those midfielders bring, and that's just pace and energy. So I can see him being a big part of the Ranger future, and it almost fits with what Steven Gerrard's tried to do with his team and how he wants his team to be able to operate and work. And I'm very excited to see how he links up with not only the likes of Kamara, who I've probably mentioned a hundred times in today's video, but with the likes of Hadji as well. Really, really clever players. I think that'll bring the best to him because he's just as intelligent as that. And uh, it's very, very encouraging to think about what this Rangers midfield could be now that Bakuna is in the old squad, especially if he takes the like that we know he can do and if we can get him back to his absolute consistent best. But it is worth mentioning, as usual, with a Steven Gerrard slash Ross Wilson signing, he isn't just one thing. He's flexible to go around the park. He's able to play in multiple positions, and that is something that Steven Gerrard looks for, despite wanting an out-and-out -out centre midfielder. The fact that this man has played up top, he's played at the centre attacking midfield role, he's played at left wing, he's played at right wing. The man's played at right back 14 times in his career and obviously playing in his more preferred centre midfield role. This man can play anywhere and do a job anywhere and float all over the pack and impact the game that way. And I think that'll be one thing that Gerard will utilise because we've heard from the likes of how much he sings the praise of Joe Rebo. So he's a complete and utter Stephen Gerrard signing, in my opinion. And despite me knowing he's only going to be coming into the engine room because that is why he's been brought here, the fact that he is able to cover and strengthen the depth in multiple positions is obviously a massive boost and hopefully that right there kind of gets more people on track because I've seen a lot of people disappointed and it's not Joey Veerman etc etc and it's not the names that they wanted in their heads but for me Bakuna ticks a massive box that we needed and that is in that engine room that is energy and legs in the middle of the park because if we're going to get back to where we are nowhere capable of we need to get back to dominating the middle of the park because for me we've not quite done it yet this season but this signing I can definitely see adding to that quality and hopefully getting us back to our best in terms of the centre of the old park and I just say by the way I've tried the whole video to do this right with it singing this song in my head but I just can he stop it? I cannot wait for Bakuna and Sakala to be in the same team so we can go Bakuna, Sakala, Bakuna, Sakala. That song is incredible and it lives rent free up here. Honestly, man, somehow I get worse. I don't know how I do it, ladies and gentlemen, but that is us reached the end of today's video. That is the player profile of our latest signing, Mr. Bakuna. I can't wait to see him in a range of short. What about you? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down there in the comment section below. Where's your head at? What are you thinking? Do you want to see him involved for the old Ross County game? And if you go ahead and do that, I will speak to you in the comments in the next couple of hours when I post today's video. But until next time, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I've been Siege and Over 9 too. That has been an ever sleepy Rocky Boy Johnson. It probably tells you how good my videos are and everything like that. You just constantly sleeps all the time. Bit hurtful if I'm honest with you. But aye, that's been Rocky. I've been me. Take care of yourselves. All the best and bye-bye.